right here live from the National Assembly, where I'm now joined by Senator Moses Kajuang to talk about an activity that they are likely to carry out beginning of next week. And uh, Senator, more interested, at the time we're talking about austerity, why is it necessary to move your settings out to the counties? Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you, Ken. The, the Senate and Parliament as a whole, as an outreach program, we want to take the Senate to the grassroots. We want to bring it closer to the people. It is part of public participation, which is a constitutional principle. In fact, uh, when the Senate and legislative bodies go out to the people, it has been proven that in the long term, uh, decision makers are in a position to make decisions that are more efficient, that are more cost effective. Okay. Uh, it, it is not just a matter of sitting in Nairobi and then running parliament from an ivory tower. We okay. believe that if Senate is the body that safeguards the interests of counties, we also need to go out to the counties. And it's not going to be a terribly expensive undertaking okay. because we are going to be meeting in the county assembly hall of Wasingishu. Right. We are not going to put up a new building or Bedouin tents. But you're uh, going to be paid allowances, of, of which incidentally has not been tied by the supplementary budget. But I, I, I'm more interested, this is about the county public uh, accounts and investment committee sitting at the counties. And uh, this is about audit queries. Why are you not in inviting the governors over to Nairobi. We have been doing that. In yes. fact, uh, if you have followed our proceedings here in Parliament in Committee Room 5, every week there are at least three governors who appear before our committee. Okay. But there's one shortcoming that we have noted, that when we sit in Nairobi and we are looking at reports from a theoretical perspective, sometimes we are not able to get to the value for money considerations okay. that the Auditor General has raised. Okay. When we go to us in Gishu, for example, and we sit with Governor Mandago and his team, we can even visit projects that they have undertaken using pub public funds. And that puts us in a better position to conduct oversight and to provide proactive proposals that can help the county governors in executing their so constitutional th duties. That's going to be very practical. So take us through who you expect to meet while you are in Wasingishu. Which governors are coming before you and which days and uh, what specifically are you looking to get from them? The Public Accounts and Investments Committee shall on Tuesday meet the governor for Baringo. On Wednesday, meet the governor for Wasingishu, and on Thursday, meet the governor for West Pokot. Okay. On Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll also be having our plenary sessions, but other committees of the House, for example, the Health Committee shall pay a visit to the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital. The um, Agriculture Committee shall be talking to maize farmers or, on agricultural issues, and all the committees of Senate are going to be busy during this time. We want the people of Wasingishu to believe and to know and to appreciate that there is a Senate that has been established to represent their interest. And this is not just for Wasingishu. We chose Wasingishu to be a reflection of the region. And we'll be having members of county assemblies, governors and chief executive uh, uh, officers of county functions coming from the surrounding uh, counties of Transoia, from Nandi, from Baringo, from West Pokot and Kakamega. All right. So after Wasingishu, do you expect to go to other regions or other counties? Yes. It okay. is our strategy that in the five years of the term of uh, the Senate, we shall carry out a public um, a plenary in at least one of the regions of this republic. So now that we have done what's in Gishu, mm -hmm. we'll probably decide to go to the coast or maybe go to western Kenya. I think it is a decision that we shall make once we come back and we take stock of the uh, achievements of, of this outreach in Wasim Gishwa. All right, uh, very comprehensive indeed. And before I let you go, I must drag you into the VAT debate this afternoon. Where you stand? Well, this is much more than VAT. As a senator, I know that the memorandum of the president reduces the equitable share to county governments by 9 billion Kenya shillings. I am not happy about that as a senator because I've always felt that counties need to get more money because a lot of money is remaining in Nairobi for functions that have already been devolved. Okay. So from that principle alone, I do not support the, pres the president's memorandum. I support a situation where we are giving our counties more money, but with the rider All that right. counties must be more efficient, counties must be more creative, counties must be more prudent in the manner in which they utilize the resources sent to them. All right, and as I let you go now, when you appeared on my show, we spoke about this extensively, and of course, the kind of wastage we see in the government, do you think this move, or this move is enough to stem it going forward? I don't think it is, because by focusing on parliament and cutting its budget by 15%, chopping $5 billion out of uh, parliament, and then going to the Auditor General and chopping its budget by $100 million, and it is the Auditor General that has the duty to flag out the wastage. I think there needs to be a, a conversation 
and the clergy has called for a conversation on corruption, the politicians have brought the Building Bridges Initiative, there needs to be a convergence so that we define what it means to be a state and public officer. A public officer mm -hmm. is not defined by the number of cars or the size of uh, bodyguards and, and the number of bodyguards that accompany him. Okay. We must redefine that so that it becomes service to the people rather than a show of force. And, All right. and that show of force is where the waste comes from. Thank you very much. Senator Moses Kajuang of Homabi County speaking to us. The County Public Investment uh, Committee is headed to the counties. And as he mentioned, Governor Mandago Kiptis and Lonyangapu will be appearing Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you very much for speaking to us. And thank you for watching. We're right here at the National Assembly. Coming